Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's having trouble exporting actually a circle or an ellipse, but with two sets of lines. When they export it as a DXF, it doesn't come out right. Because he's using an older version of Corel, which I guess in fact exports it as an older ver version of the DXF file. So we're going to export this and we're just going to call it I've got quite a few already done. I'm going to call it DXF6. But when you hit export, it gives you an option. We're going to use the latest version in 2018, or really 2019 version, and we're going to say OK. And then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to import that. And I'm going to DXF6. You can still see it's still a circle. It's actually importing everything. But if you now know we have four nodes, well, don't, don't take into effect that outline. But if we take the shape tool, we have four nodes where the original only has one. And DXF kind of does that. Now, let's delete all this, even this to make it work better. Let's draw that ellipse again, doesn't matter what size. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the center of the page just to make it look better. Now I'm going to export it in a loader version. And that's what he's doing. He's having to load it in a, a older version. So I'm going to call this seven. But this time I'm going to pick the one he's telling me he's tried nine and ten. I'm going to go nine. Now I'm going to import it. And look what happens. Look at the amount of nodes. And it actually even changed the size. This circle's 22, this circle's 28. But it's got 32 nodes, and this is what's happening. He's getting flat corners instead of a round corner. Now, if you remember, if we import number six, Let's import number six again. We only have the four nodes. And it's going to import it as the same size. I'm going to go ahead and check that. I don't think it really matters. Well, I don't want the six. Let me let me export this again. So we well, you know what? Let's make this circle 20 inches. Okay? So now we're working on 20 inches. Let's go ahead and go to Export, we'll call it DXF8. But we're going to pick the, the newest version. And like I said, in my 2019, it goes from 2007. Now I'm going to right click, import DXF8. Not only is it going to import it with very few nodes, it's going to import it to the same size. So with, if you look at this, if we go to export on this, I'm not going to export it because I've got so many now, but I'm just going to go ahead and go DD. And if I go here, the newest version has 21 because this is Corel 21. So it's just different versions of Corel. And it actually gives you the, you know, texture curves and everything else. So I think that's what his problem is. He just has an old, either has an old version of Corel or the DXF he's, uh, file, uh, he might want to cursor up if he's got a newer version. It should come, the newest version should come up when he first, it ought to be default. Anyway, I hope that helps him a little bit. Thank you for watching.